Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you all the fuses and relays location from this Mercedes S-Class from W220 generation. Then I will show you a couple of simple tests you can do using a voltmeter on the relays and fuses and how to use these fuses and relays in your advantage when you want to diagnose the part that these components are protecting. On this car, we're going to find three main fuse boxes. Two of them are going to be under the hood on the engine bay, one there and one there the third fuse box is going to be under this rear passenger seat so if you look under here except of a dirty mat you're going to see this cover okay and there are some fuses okay so i'm looking from this position this is for wiper park heater relay Number two, this is for high pressure and return pump relay. Fuse number three is for the steering wheel adjustment horizontal. Fuse number four is for the steering wheel adjustment vertical. Fuse number four is for the wiper on and off relay, is not the speed one. And on this car it jumps directly to fuse number nine, which is for the air suspension and active body control module. Fuse number 10 is for the windshield wiper water pump and circuit 15 also ignition coils fuse 11 is for the front cigar lighter with ashtray illumination fuse number 13 is for the left front door control module all the controls you have attached on the left front door fuse 16 is for stoplight switch and this one is for the airbag this 5 amps fuse is for all the old technology like the telephone on the car frequency selector module emergency call control module all those things that nobody uses these days. This one is for the audio getaway control module. This one is for the TV tuner. Nobody use that. Operating and display unit rear screen. This one is for a part of the instrument cluster. And this one is another part of the instrument cluster. This one is for the climate control. Basically the control panel inside the cabin. This one is for the diagnostic port or OBD2 port where you can connect your scan tool. This one is for the audio getaway control module. This one is for the sound amplifier and upper control panel. Okay, now let's go to the relays. This one is for the wiper park heater relay. These two are going to be for the computer C15. This one is a steering column adjustment relay forward and back relay one. And this one is relay two again for forward and back adjustment for the steering column. This one is for high pressure and return pump relay. This one is for the wiper position 1 and 2 relay. And this one is for the wiper on and off relay. This one is steering column height adjustment relay 1. And this one is steering column height adjustment relay 2. So one of the most common problems on this car can be checked as well on these four relays and these two fuses, if you remember. So let's take out, for example, the steering column height adjustment relay one. We've got here five pins. If you look on the diagram, you can see pin 87 and number 30. Once you complete the circuit between these two, the steering wheel should move. Let's see here. We've got pin 30 and 87, not 87A in the middle, but this one. Yeah, so it goes like this. Okay, so I'm going to use a wire and connect pin 30 and 87. There is no much you can do wrong here because in the worst case you're going to blow a fuse. So make sure that you've got some fuses around. Okay. The steering wheel did move. So right here is the steering wheel adjuster and I'm not touching it. Okay. Now it moves down. Now let's see how to do a couple of tests on this relay because if you know how to test this you know how to test all of them and from the diagram you can see pin 30 and 87a is connected when the relay is not on so let's see we should have full continuity between pin 30 and 87a which is in the middle here and we do less than an ohm of resistance also from this relay, we see that if we energize pin 85 and 86, we're going to activate the electromagnet in there and that will pull the switch 
and complete the circuit between pin number 30 and 87 not 87 a but 87 so let's connect the voltmeter between 30 and 87 there is no continuity at the moment i'm gonna take a 12 volt supply and connect the terminals on pin 86 and 85 this should power the electromagnet and we should see full continuity in there okay and we do again still some resistance which uh, it shouldn't be there and the last thing i want to check is how much resistance is between the pin 86 and 85 this is for the electromagnet for the switch okay it gets powered by a 12 volts very low current to protect this high current 12 volts line on the positive side of the part so let's see we've got 81 ohms so for example now i found out that the relay responsible with the moving of the steering wheel down has a little bit higher resistance on the switch compared to other three this is something to keep in mind if for example in the future the steering wheel will not want to go down or it will go down with some breaks in between now let's see for example how to check these fuses okay i've got a good ground here now with the other terminal let's see if we can get 12 volts okay and okay and when you do this test you've got three possibilities one it's when you find 12 volts the car battery voltage on both sides the second possibility is when you've got only 12 volts on one side in that situation you know that the fuse is blown because the 12 volts is coming from the supply from the car battery but is not going forward and then you've got the third possibility where you don't find any 12 volt supply on both of the sides in that situation it means that the wire or the power supply is disconnected or there is an open circuit somewhere all right now let's go to fuse box number two i'm gonna be looking at it from this position so starting from here we've got this one for engine electronics this one is for engine electronics as well engine electronics and chassis relay then we've got the air pump relay air compressor relay and the 60 amps one is for the electric suction type fan this one is for the heating system recirculation unit this one is for the traction system control module acp bus and sps this one is for the steering wheel heater and dc to dc converter control unit this one is for the blower motor blower regulator and heating system recirculation unit this one is for the headlamp range adjustment control module this one is for some electronics for the transmission including the engine oil fan unit transmission oil fan motor relay auxiliary air unit relay heater unit or heater booster this one is for the active body control module this one it says multifunction sensor I'm not sure what's that engine and ac electric suction fan with integrated control and this one is for the ignition coil now let's go to the relays this one is for the engine electronics and chassis relay this one is the starter relay this one is for the secondary air pump relay and this one is for the air compressor relay for the airmatic system and we've got as well the horn relay and on the side here obviously we've got the computer of the car with plenty of connectors a lot of CAN bus connectors here okay now let's go under this passenger seat so i'm gonna start with the fuel pump fuse then we've got here a big fuse a 50 amps fuse this is for the rear window defroster relay this one is for the rear window roller blind relay if you have such thing and then you've got the towing sensor relay now let's go to 57 we've got trunk lead open relay this one is for the keyless go if you have such thing and door lock this one is for taxis special vehicle multifunction control module this one is for the navigation processor rear window antenna and amplifier module this one is for the left front seat adjustment control unit with memory and then we've got 
the right front seat adjustment control unit with memory. This one is for the left rear door control module and left front reversible emergency tensioner retractor, right front seat adjustment control module with memory, and right front reversible emergency tensioner retractor, PTS control module, Parktronic system, and overhead panel control unit. These relays are extremely hard to get access to. You can barely see them on the bottom. On this car, you've got only three here. So we've got the rear window defroster relay, and then we've got the fuel pump relay, the one in the middle. And this one is for the circuit 15 relay. This is for some engine electronics. Okay, guys, that was pretty much it about all the fuses and relays on this car. Thanks for watching. As always, subscribe, stay tuned, and I will see you in the next video.